welcome back to Love Cooking with Tuchfa. If you are new here, please like, subscribe and do all of the right things in helping my channel grow. Today I am back at it. <laughs> I'm cooking after three days and I'm back at work today so I thought I just make a quick and easy pasta using pulchards and that's the fish oil I'm using and this is the pulchards fish I am using I'm using the one in the tomato sauce you can use the one in the sweet chili sauce I think or you can even use tuna fish I've poured some fish oil into my pot I'm going to heat this up and then I'll add in my onion uh, onion and I'm adding it into And I'm just going to braise the onion in the oil just until it changes color and I will be right back when I get to that step. So I have my, my plate on medium high. I was asked why do I only use the plate on this side. Guys this is the fastest plate that I have on my stove. And it's also the only space that I have where I can put the camera. Be careful that your onions doesn't burn because burnt onions is not going to give the best taste when it comes to a fish pasta. We're adding in chilies. And then with that, I'm also adding in my tomato I didn't add any water just yet because the tomato is going to produce water and I've thrown quite a bit of fish oil into the pot so now I'll just braise the tomato and the onion together stirring it in between if you do need to add some water please go ahead not too much and now i'm going to open my fish and take the spine out of it with a bone it looks like a spine but it's a bone or you can call it a spine bone i'm gonna open it up okay so the bone is on that side and then I just take it out. Like that. It is quite messy, guys. Not the best thing to do. And I, I think this is also why people don't eat poultry. I quite like it. I also like the poultry curry. You just took it out like that. Make sure all the rest of the bones are out. So here we go, that's the fish. Just adding it in. And just give it a nice stir. You can turn up the stove, but not too high because you don't want the ingredients or the contents of the pot to burn to the bottom of the pot. So just keep stirring it because this won't take much longer. I've already um, pre-cooked my pasta of course as you know. I've used shells. You can use any pasta. I just felt that the shells was more fitting. I'll be adding in salt and pepper to taste not too much because the fish comes from the sea so it is quite salty paprika a little bit of fish masala and then i'm going to give that a stir oh the smell immediately hit me so so nice and i'll give it like two minutes more just so that the spice can settle and once it has settled i'm going to move it over to the pasta and mix it into the pasta shells. I'll be right back when we get to that step. 
Now I will be adding in the braised fish. And now I'm going to mix it all together and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. And then I'll add my white sauce on top of here with some veggies and some cheese. I have my oven heating on 200 degrees. That is because it doesn't need to be for too long in the oven. Only just for the cheese to melt. And then I have some cherry tomatoes that I want must bake on top and some green pepper and cheese and then I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done just before it goes into the oven I am just going to sprinkle a little bit of mixed herbs on top 